you can do what you want. What, what would you prefer? You could just stay, you could just, you could don't have to be gay if you want to. So, it's Friday, and we are today, and we are already recording two minutes on. So today is a, um, today is a new video today, and so welcome back everyone. I'm Kai, and this is Nathan, today. Alright, so today was an idea just to do um, a bit of wildlife photography um well i'm not gonna lie at the moment i'm pretty well dressed for this and uh oh nathan ain't really well dressed yeah, questionable yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right and um i kind of wanted to practice trying to see uh, on how um camouflaging works for us because unfortunately australia does not allow fully set ghillie suits unfortunately because it's illegal because it's illegal to cover your face and we had an actual nat as a renamed conservative park and well really because people come here too and we we, we, can't, we can't really cannot wear proper camouflage and gear so i've just um stuck with um a darker uh, a dark green shirt long shirt and some black black pants and from what i've heard last time so um casey he um, said that col sometimes animals have a different different view of colors and they, it's just done differently. Mm. So black and white can they I don't know if animals have black and white lighting like it. like yeah. dogs or if any animals have a sense of color. Maybe I just need to stand next to one of the, the white gum trees. Oh yeah, you probably, you probably blend in. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, so I've been to this park a few times and we always get these guys to come by. I would have those three that come around. And um, so this guy here, I call him Marsh. Grant, Marsh, yeah, not Marsh. 
There was another one over here, another one right next to us. I caught him a stand. So you know what? I'm gonna call him Marsh, I'm gonna call him Randy. Mm. Yeah, you could be here, Randy. But uh, yeah, so. Yeah, we are just gonna. Technically, today is a day to just take a little bit of patience and to see what it could come up with. So, kind of set up, set it up right here. I took a bit, took a photo of a um, kangaroo. It was pretty, pretty nicely done. You want, you want to sit? Yep. Yeah, I don't want you standing. That'd be very exhausting. But so yeah. So today. It's just a um, sit patient again. Kind of is one of the goals I had today. Also, speaking about goals, so last time, well, when I started doing this, you know what the idea was? Mm. The idea was to stop procrastination. That's, that's a brilliant idea. I procrastinate so much. And so, the YouTube is just to stop procrastinating myself. Especially if you give yourself, like, you know, do it every week kind of thing. So that's yeah, actually... I've already started doing, this is going to be, st I'm doing this every Friday. Yep. But I'm going to see what else I could do. I could probably set this another time. I, I was thinking, I'm, I actually can't even think about it. If I do, a, do recording stuff on the other day of the week. Like, I'm, I've, I've, I'm, I'm actually, so my notebook, I have come up with some ideas I want to do for it. And so... I'm gonna do my ideas with the notebook. Uh, I have an idea to do um, understanding of lighting and shadowing. Yep. And so I must see here. I'll give you something about lighting and shadowing because it's actually really fun. That's actually really fun about photography, learning light and shadow. God, that bird, one of the birds are over here. In the, like the different directions of light and yeah. Practically, definitely. And how to utilize lighting properly. Lighting and shadowing properly. Ah, please don't move. Oh, we got two. Why are they What? Next to us. Oh. Okay, yeah, so, like I said before, that's. Uh, I was random mouse, but I'm calling him random now, and that's Dan. And if anyone wonders why I came out with these names, because I love South Park. <laughs> Where's Kenny? Kenny's dead, probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that sounds like Kenny. Is Kenny a cat, me? Yeah, so, yeah, they, these these birds come here a lot. They're not, they, they, they always want food. Yeah, I had them come over to me several times already. Crazy. Oh yeah, Randy loves getting food. I only gave them food once. You know, they always wanted to get more food off me. But the thing is, you're actually not really going to give food around here. Because mm. it's disrupting the, the animals. Because it's big. Yeah. Yep. But I can't help myself. Okay, what did I saw the door go? It's the one. What are you doing, Randy? Wait, is that Randy or that? Yeah. I don't have anything with me now. I'm sorry. One of the birds is trying to get food off me, but I don't have any food. I have water, but not food. Sorry, I don't have anything. Can I have a pet you? Oh, no, you don't want it. You don't like to be a pet. <sighs> Okay. Let's look what I can find. Reminds me of that bit in Jurassic Park where that guy is like trying to steal like the embryos, like the bigger guy, and like he crashes like his jeep, and then he's like, "Oh, that guy." Yeah. Isn't that the guy that gets completely killed by that big, that that the, the, the lizard? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he's saying to the lizard, oh, "I haven't got anything to eat," and then the lizard like, yeah, completely like. 
wants to eat yeah. him. I've seen that part. I mean, I don't know why. That's probably my favorite part yeah. in, in Jurassic Park. Have you seen that? Have you seen the newest one? No, because there, there is a brand new one out, pretty, or pretty much pretty new, like within a year. Come on. What the? That was a terrible spot. Can I hear it again? Oh, this is so much dust in it. Oh. Was not ready for that. Okay, I'm gonna drop that up. I didn't see it. Nope, I did not get that. Sweet. Oh, I need a high shutter speed, hey? Oh no, I. Yeah, I do actually. Ah, patience for it. Ah, what I can find. Oh, hey. No. You can take close up photos and bushes and stuff around here. I got so much dust in this lens. Okay, that's have cool. you got stuff to clean it or you have to get it professionally uh, done? I have, to, uh, I have to get it professionally done because I tried it myself and I almost broke the lens. Yeah. The bird's back. Is that Randy or Stan? Oh, I feel something's pulling up my leg. Not so much fun. Oh, that's gonna be bright. Hey, what's up? I want you to be scared. I kind of want to make this video too long this time. So, yeah, I'm trying to at least. Look at him. What's up, mate? How's it going? Is that Randy? I think that's Randy. <laughs> yeah, that's Randy. He's got, he's got a little. He's got a little. Um. Colour this pigment on his uh, beak. Looks like he's been in some spiders. He's a bit red, has red bow on him. Found something else. Oh, was that a bug? You think it would eat your finger? Nope. Hey, how's it going, buddy? He stuck it out. Hmm? Not suggesting to try it. I don't want any. It's got food. Oh, please don't peck on my camera. Yeah, there's a butterfly. If you want something, you can eat the butterfly. It's probably off going to eat the butterfly. Yeah. I saw it. I think you saw it. I saw it. I want it. He saw something and he wants it. Now I'm getting bit again. Another thing when it comes to doing camouflage. So, because like I said before, camouflage in Australia is really difficult. So, I wear a mask to keep my um to get away from mozzies because bloody mozzies are annoying. Mm. Tell me about it. My, I, I, Every time I always bring my cap, I always bring my mask. Sometimes I bring gloves because they get bit in the hand too. It's they're, bloody annoying. They're the rats of the sky. Yes, definitely. They're freaking annoying.
so that's gonna be a thumbnail. So I'm not seeing much. That's why the patient is playing with this patient. So as you can see, I'm by coming out here yesterday just to do this. Have you seen like? some of the photographers that wait like a whole day yep or like even I've longer, actually like watched several overnight to like to see I've, I've, I've watched a few photographers do that actually yeah sometimes you get they stay for ages I've seen a couple on YouTube and because it's so long they'll often do like a they'll speed it up like they'll speed, speed up a lot of the footage just to show like yeah a time lapse and people yeah. good Sometimes you can take photos of the animals, or you can take photos of the surrounding. It's not that bad of an idea. Yeah. But then it, it just becomes a bit boring because there's nothing interesting about the photo. And we have how how what's our time so far already? Uh, it's just after two. Okay. Then. So, not that long. Yeah, I guess the advantage of somewhere closer is you get more time yeah. for photography. Okay, and we're back. So we're just we're wandering around and trying to find another spot to take a little look at and do some patience. And we stopped and we are going to decide to actually walk inside the forest. It's pretty dense in there, so it's pretty good to get a mask because there's going to be a lot of mozzies in there. It's, it gets pretty very dense, but I kind of find it a little bit scary actually. Yeah, wish me luck with the mozzies. <laughs> You're gonna get bit like crazy. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Actually, so... What's really interesting about this little path, like this is quite long, I'm pretty sure this is like one, like 500 or something kilometers. No, 500 millimeter, millimeters, whatever, 500, I bloody if I don't know. Meters. But it's, yeah, 500 meters. And it's really cool. I find it really dense and I think I might actually take a photo. Um, mm. Yes. Matter of fact, I'm trying to think about. Oh. Alright. Be done black and white. I think that'd be pretty cool. That's mm. enough for a template for a week. So, because every, every template I've done so far is completely coloured. I haven't done much black and white stuff. I think we might be not a bad idea. Okay. Need to breathe. Dust back. Don't get bit. Right, so, so in Colonel Bark and Soda Park, there's multiple trucks. I have made my own synopsis about them and my own details about them. Alright, so. This one I just find is dental and kind of a little bit creepy because it's that dense that it kind of reminds me of like like a movie or something. I just like imagine like something scary around here. Yeah, hey, that's really cool for moss tracks. Yeah, we got that because I've also been in this park several hundred times. Oh, where is that? I got a cool. Oh. I had a cool lighting happening. No. No. Come on. I just had really nice lighting. Okay, now the lighting's getting really weird. No, right. Whatever. <sighs> oh, that's 
that's right. That is really right. I ain't gonna need to work on the lighting for this when I get back up to my computer. But yeah, so this this track here, this entire part, the forest area is quite creepy. I like it. And if I can, might not take another shot right down to you somewhere. But you got multiple tracks. I there's another track that is swamp a uh, swamplands. I kind of call it a um the rainforest part of the track place because it kind of looks like a rainforest. And we also have a full on um marshlands too. The marshlands are not to be traded in because you need really good protection for gum boots. Yeah, gum boots. Alright, uh, I'm gonna take a photo right over here. Looks interesting. Look at that. That's pretty cool. We've got, we've got a little bit of lighting, so I said before I was gonna do some with more lighting than sorry. So lighting we've got a nice lighting in the truck there. Create some sort of dynamic between the area, which is quite cool. So we've got a break it down half tree, small tree. Whatever. Now I'm gonna see what I can create here. Let me just put that the camera down. Let's see what. Too bad, but this type of stuff this is interesting. You could get a lot, and but like I said, this place is very it's different. Each time you go, something's different. I came here once and I saw that green a green field covered with our um, little poppy poppy flower things. Always go back to a location you've been to every once in a while. You don't know what you could grab. You could grab so much, so much. You could grab so much. It's, it's, it's unbearable. It's very cool. It's always nice to actually get to do more. Now I'm getting thirsty. You, know, you, don't just, you just don't know what you create. You could create so much. Alright, I'm going to do one more, but I need my other hand with it. Two canopies. That's pretty cool. You can just great so much here. I recommend, I always say, come back to your place to go to. Without a doubt. <clears throat> nope. What's that? Acorn. Cannot get acorn hit to the head. That is a. What? Acorn drop. Yeah, that that's that's not scary enough. That's what it looks like. Come on, looks terrible again. Okay, so so we're gonna distract, and then we're gonna head off. There we go. Onwards. Okay. Give me 
underneath or anything? Nah. Eh, not really. Yeah, I like this little track. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. I like it. I guess it gives it a little bit of, it just feels a little bit creepy. Yeah. That's what I like about it. Being, imagine being here like at night time. Yeah, I was thinking that, like right around. You're like... not allowed to go here at night time though. This mm. is closed. At six. Is it six all year round? Yeah, it's, all, it's always six. It would be dark here by like five, around five. I have been around here five. It's not that dark. Yeah, it's a little bit so. dark, but it's not that dark. Have you been here in winter though? It is winter. I mean, I no, but like, have you been here at that time in winter or? Oh, no, definitely not. That's as muddy as hell. I'm surprised like, it's not sinking. Heaven for mosquitoes. Oh, definitely. I'm getting bit in the hand. Oh, my arm. Hand. Oh, muddy. I want to do some panning around shots. I'll see you soon. Okay, so while on our spot around looking around the place, we came across a pretty interesting looking foot, a um, foot, um, foot truck. Look at that. What is that? What type of footprint is that? We've apparently found a few of those. I think that's another one. Yeah. Um, old mate says that might be looks a little bit too big to be a kangaroo. That looks like kangaroos. But yeah, one's a bit bigger. Do you see another one? More. What's that? That's a bit weird. The only biggest animal that's in this park is just a kangaroo. Is that another one? Yeah. In here? Too big to be a kangaroo, you say? Yeah, it looks pretty big. What? What can make it what can make a footprint like that size? Look at that. Is that like put it put a hand yeah. next to it for for reference? Yeah, it's bigger than my hand. It's bigger than your hand. It's interesting. Okay, so there might be another animal in here that no one knows or something. That's interesting. Yeah, Definitely not scary at all. What? The raptors. No, that the that's not raptors. that's not raptors. That's not raptors size foot. Tum no, that, that's not right. That can't be right. It's not as that's that's not the right size. Are they smaller? Bigger. Bigger. Flothraptors. Flothraptors have been extinct for millions of years. Can't be a flo. I thought that noise was an animal. Did you hear it for a second? You got spider web hanging from the back of your head. I don't think we've seen any more, but that was any spot. That's weird though. Hmm, that's very interesting. Mm. Alright. Welcome back. So we just finished up to got some more photos. And you guys can see them on my Instagram. And you I'll put that in the description. So we just took some photos, we took a few more photos and now we're heading back. It was a nice day today, really nice, we got, we got a little bit of afternoon lighting and I had some nice photos taken. Um, so yeah, that is the day. So we saw some the foot tracks from before, we're actually just at a, at a, at this very big kangaroos, we actually thought it was something else for a second. We got ter- I, I got- I, I might have gone a little bit scared and I bought a fit because I like monsters. But uh, so yeah, it was just a kangaroos. I really like a number of kangaroos. Because there's some species of kangaroos and you might have seen the- might have been a footprint of one of the bigger ones. 
so yeah that's pretty cool so yeah um so this is how i'm gonna have these go about so the photos are gonna get edited today this video is gonna be edited tomorrow and then uploaded tomorrow so i gotta scratch out my productiveness today in two days within two with two days and so yeah so we go head back now and I'll see you back at my place. See you soon. And we are back. Uh, today was a very fun day. I learned more and I tried something a little bit different. Mainly pretty like how to camouflage in the Australian Outback, or oh, if you could even call that the Outback. So yeah, um, that was the video of the day. Yeah, so um, I'm going to be doing this every Friday. And I might do something else during the week as well. Like something to do at home. Or I actually might go out to another location. I don't know, something like that. However, those groups that I do with those people, I might be able to go to another place. Um, like an actual full on trip, I could. But I just need to wait until I hear something like that come up. But yeah, um, that that's today's video. Um, I have a few ideas I want to do soon on making other videos. But for now, I am. Um, I've just got. I got back some time ago. I'm gonna now. I'm gonna edit the video. Edit the photos. I'm gonna edit the video tomorrow so I can scratch out. The productivity as much as I could, but um yeah so that's today and so yeah, the goal, like before, stop procrastination, and finally get somewhere. So yeah, all right then. Well I'm gonna see you guys next time and see ya. See ya. Peace. <laughs>